and welcome to the spoiler section. So, Del, you want to start spoiling the fuck out of this movie? No, you first. All right. You lead us off. Go ahead. You lead us you off. You want to spoil the fuck out of this movie? You lead us off. Lead us Go off. Ahead. Okay. Well, uh, first thing was first. Del mentioned it a little bit in the review. The movie never fucking addressed what the hell was going on in terms of why an older version of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was sent back in time to protect a nine-year-old Sarah Connor. I thought it was seven-year-old. Nine. nine. Oh, nine? Okay. To protect a nine-year-old Sarah Connor, uh, and they did a flashback scene uh, to where she was nine years old, and she had her mother and father there, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger shows up. A T-1000 was sent at that time to go and take her out. Never explained. And it was funny, because he even goes like, well, who sent him? He's like, those files were deleted. Yeah. In his Arnold voice. And it was just like, well, they clearly just wanted to do this for the shit, you know, the fuck a Yeah, they just they said, just fuck it. You know what? They fuck probably it. tried to do, uh, to have it make sense, and all the time travel stuff started to go, ah, ah fuck <laughs> it. Files and deleted. Files deleted. Going this way and this way. Oh, yeah. Um, but it, it really didn't matter, and I hope they don't use that in order to milk uh, two more movies. Here's the thing I think about this movie. Um, and I probably should have put this in the review. I think it stands on, uh, as a third movie in the series. Yep. I want it to be Terminator 3. I really wanted it Man, to be Terminator 3. Good. Thank you for doing that for you me, won't. Joe. You you have the omni uh, you have the powers um, of a god. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. Omnipotent other Joe. Exactly. Drill. So, but I I don't want to see more. I honestly don't. Like, uh, I'm not excited about, oh, man, I want to see another one. No. Yeah, I'm not really... I thought it was great, and I'm good with it. I do want to see another Die Hard, though. Really? Yeah. Fuck? I love Bruce Willis. That thing has been milked to death. I'm tired of Die Hard. Anyway, I'm never so back, tired of Bruce Willis. back to spoilers. <laughs> of course, the trailer had spoiled a movie. That was disappointing. Yep. Um, uh, like, really hard. Yeah, like they really, really, really disappointing. Hard. To the point where I don't think I would have given it an 8 if I had watched the trailer. And I'm thinking that's where a lot of those critic reviews came from. Maybe. Because they probably saw the trailer yeah. and then had to watch the movie. And they and were like, like... right afterwards, they were like, I fucking know everything already. Because critics look it for that. It was predictable. Yeah, that critics do look for that. Yeah. And they go, okay, how's the trailer? How much does it give away? If it gives away the whole thing, they like, shit on the movie. Yeah. Because they're never surprised. And they like being surprised. I don't know. Exactly. Uh, so... I thought it was uh, it was great. They had uh, Skynet actually become a character in this one. Uh, he was a physical uh, entity, uh, oh, and I guess yes. his designation is Skynet. Uh, so he attacks John Connor, or he attack yeah John Connor, just as Kyle Reese is uh, tra tra transported to the past. Um, and he doesn't just attack him, he turns him into a fucking Terminator. ultra robot, yeah. uh, a new type of infiltration unit. And then I guess uh, kills a bunch all the the resistance fighters there and mm. uses the time machine in order to send his new creation uh, John Connor uh, to the same place that Emil uh, or Sarah Connor and um, well before Kyle that supposed to before Genesis. that too because he started Genesis at like two thousand and then they even talk about how he built the entire company up yeah. so they sent him back to like two thousand. When they went to 2017, that was the one thing that Starting I started to get too. a little confused in here with the, you know, you but, got the. But no, the one the, thing I. Had, wouldn't be suspense, well, they went to 1984, but then they went to 2004, well, and then they the went thing. to 2017, yeah. and, and then they went to 2140. One of the biggest plot holes in that fucking movie was when they went forward in time again, they were like, let's go to the very day that the judgment happened. And it was like, why not go like a week before? Because it would be more dramatic. Go a week before. Like, oh, no, we have like five minutes to stop it, as opposed to like, oh, we still got <laughs> they five. They could go we anywhere still have five any time. Months. Fuck it, you want to go grab a drink? Yes, grab, but that is months. the suspension of disbelief that I personally will allow. Because obviously, you can go back to a time where she's like yeah. a baby and <laughs> defenseless, you know, or something. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> Terminator terminates a baby. That's terrible. Yeah. So, um... He's a machine. He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Was the T-1000 that they sent back in 1960s or 70s when she was nine years old, was that also an Asian Terminator? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, she just it? said it was a puddle. She said it was a puddle in the water, rose up and killed her parents. Yeah. Oh, they never showed they it? Never showed okay, because I was wondering, that would have been a perfect it. opportunity to use the old actor, yeah, I forget his show. name, uh, he was a great T-1000. See, that's yeah, the that's the thing. I would have rather seen some of these, these other actors show up, but I guess they're, oh, they're old. We can't explain it like a T-800 we could explain. I, I did love how they killed all the ages of Arnold in the movie. Like, the guy with the bazooka on the docks was like, like fucking 1970s punk rocker Arnold. Yeah, and then he the was guy, the original Terminator yeah. Arnold from Terminator. And then they had the uh, the Terminator 2, Two Arnold, Arnold that showed up. They got the sniper through the chest. And then they had the old, like, the middle-aged Arnold from, like, Terminator 3. Three. And then they had the Three. old Arnold from yeah. the current Terminator. And then they had an even older Arnold yep. uh, who had to wait... Uh, years. when they got teleported to, to the future, you waited the entire time. Like so 37, 37 years or something, yeah. And I was like, yeah, so, um, there was a lot of really good moments in this movie, you know, yeah. and I really, really enjoyed it. It was a good movie. I mean, it was just good. There was no, never a point where I was like, this fucking sucks. Why is this in the movie? I mean... I never felt And that. there was and I felt that in Terminator 3 and I felt it in Terminator Salvation. This one that moment never came. I yep. was like enjoying it the whole way through. Yeah. Comedy, action, uh a lot nostalgia, of action. even a the lot sappy of parts where they were like, "Oh, I'm so sad." I wasn't like, "Get off the screen." I yeah. was like, "This is okay. This adds background and it's not overly dramatic." And they never actually banged or had like a super relationship. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't have to do the lowest common denominator, no. you know, and have her have Sarah Connor take off her clothes or have some sex scene or something like that. Uh, it was all done tastefully. Um, you know, like I said, this ties into what what I feel about Jai, the actor that played uh, Kyle Reese. I just didn't think he had good rapport with anybody. Joe disagrees highly because he said that bro moment with uh, John Connor. But, you know, there was a moment where they're putting in ammunition. And it is funny. <laughs> but it could have been even more funny if there was more chemistry between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Kyle Reese. But you guys would argue that, that, that there was great chemistry. Kept butting heads. It, it, felt, yeah. it felt like it was The entire dad. time, you know, no, Kyle no, Reese no, hated the Terminator. You. Yeah. It was like the dad was judging if he was good enough for his daughter. Oh, it's that perfect. That's, 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 that's what pretty was that much what moment, got. Like he's he's got to go and transport. He's like, you got to get naked. He's like, oh, I see little... What, what do you say? Oh, that was so, so funny. Was so funny. Kyle has to go forward in time uh, with Emil. Uh, once they locate her in the past, they need to go forward. Obviously, he takes off uh, his clothes. She takes off her clothes. Mm -hmm. And they're having a conversation about the mission. And as he's getting into the new time machine that the Terminator built, the uh, Terminator, Arnold, says... Yeah, he says. I see little. To I suggest see. Yeah, yeah I see are, little. You, you know, right when he's looking at his <laughs> yeah. body and he looks at his penis and he's like, I see little reason to trust you. <laughs> you know, it was perfect yeah. timing and Arnold was basically insulted. It was so funny. The whole theater uh, er erupted yeah, in laughter. Like, looks at him like, oh, fucking jackass. And and Kyle's like, God damn it! He didn't even have a comeback either. He's no, like, he God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it was I so thought funny. it was pretty good. Yeah. He kept butting heads. I love, love, I love how he told the moment. Yeah. He called waiting the long way. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we're just going to jump ahead and he's like, I'll take the long way. <laughs> yeah. Just Arnold nailed uh, his original yeah, yeah. role. And uh, without smile. him, this movie. His killer smile. Oh, yeah. man, the smile. You're, you, he smiles so much in this movie and it gets me every time because I don't honestly see Arnold smile all that much. Uh, he did yeah. like the super huge smile then even in one of the movies he's like you know it's really fucking disturbing right really fucking creepy <laughs> really <laughs> creepy and she was like you get used to it yeah but I want him to do it more it was great so uh, that's it I think for the spoiler section there really wasn't all that much to be spoiled since the trailer spoiled it all um, what I thought it was a little ridiculous that Arnold gets his upgrade towards the end uh I was waiting the whole movie. I was like, they're going to kill Arnold. They're going to do that that Terminator 2 thumbs up thing and really get the emotion. Because this movie lacked that final like emotion where I was crying at the end. doesn't have that. Arnold lives. You know, This is like a uh, test audience. Uh, we must make them happy. There's a happy ending in this. There's a happy ending in Terminator well, Genesis. Yeah. He uh, basically... Um, this no number one. It's bullshit that this T eight hundred is fighting this um, John Connor version of Terminator, this highly advanced Terminator. It would have just 
fucking eviscerated any other T-800. If a random T-800 came up to him, he would have eviscerated yep. it. But because it's Arnold, they give him, uh, they fight toe-to-toe, -to -toe. exactly. Yeah. And the way they, they destroy it, what he's vulnerable to in this, and the, uh, I mean, uh, the T-100 last time got destroyed by cryogenics mm -hmm. and freezing yep. it and, and busting it and then putting in lava, blah, blah, blah. This one is magnetics can shut down its field in order to reassemble the nanos. Yep. Uh, so initially they use an MRI machine to sort of stop him. Then they use magnetic shotgun uh, shells, shells yeah. and magnetic rockets, which I've never heard of, um, to, to stop a little bit. And finally, in order to kill him, uh, <clears throat> they do this thing where Arnold has to hold him while they initiate a time machine and as you know in all the terminator lore metallics cannot uh, go machine. through that time yeah. machine so they're going to be destroyed um but they had it to where uh they're fighting in it and arnold's uh torso, torso flies off and, and falls into a puddle where john connor was creating experimental uh, metal, sharing liquid technology metal yeah. liquid metal in in their current time and they even set it and up then it, like, and yeah. and he set it up where this this stuff is harmless and they need the chip so because arnold has the chip in his brain somehow the metal melds on it doesn't work that way you know you either make a metal verse you make it either make a t1000 or you make a t800 okay they don't just meld like that together or maybe they do i don't know you but know, i thought it was you're convenient. Not, you're not a stuff. terminator no it was convenience for the plot so so at the yeah. end, Arnold comes in, he's one of those Blade Terminators, and uh, he's a T-1000 now, or a T-800 plus 1000. So he's a <laughs> T-1800. T yeah. uh, I thought that that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a great movie, yep. and I guess we're done with the spoiler section. Uh, talk about your favorite parts down in the comments, mm -hmm. and thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.